So, nakuha na natin. Now, we can solve for V sub 1 and V sub 2. Okay na tayo dyan. So, V sub 1 is equal to I1 and yung ating resistance which is 3 kilo ohms. So, V1. Ano yung I sub 1 natin? Or, actually, ang notation na nilagay natin is hindi I sub 1 which is I sub A. I sub A is 5 milliamp. Okay, V sub 1, 5 milliamp times 3 kilo ohms is equal to 15 volts. Okay, now V sub 2 naman. V sub 2 is I sub 2, kasi ito I sub 2, times 20 kilo ohms. Okay, ang V sub 2 natin is 1 milliamp. Multiplied by, 1 milliamp multiplied by, 20. So, V sub 2 is equal to 20 volts. Ayan. So, yan na yung mga nakuha natin so far na value. Okay, we have uh, ang mga pinahanap is V sub 1 and V sub 2. So, nakuha na natin ito and ayan, using yung ating nakuha mga current. Now, punta tayo sa mga power. Okay, yung mga power natin for P sub 1 and P sub 2. Okay, P sub 1 is equal to V times I. So, V1 times I. I A yung nilagay nating notation. V is 15 volts. Okay, multiplied by uh, ilang ampere yung ano natin for I A. I A kasi yung dadaan kay 3 kilo ohms which is 5 milliamp. So, P1 is equal to uh, 0 0.075 watts or equivalent yun ay 75 milliwatts. Okay, P sub 2 naman, V sub 2 and multiply by I sub 2. P sub 2 is 20 multiplied by I sub 2. I sub 2 is 1 milliamp. So, P sub 2 is equal to 0 0.02 watts or that is equivalent to 20 20 1, 2, 3 okay, tama, 20 milliwatts okay, meron pang tanong, letter C the power supplied by the current source so yung power supplied by current source PS is equal to yung VS times IS given kasi yung I sub S natin current source kasi natin is 10 milliamp ayan Ngayon, kailangan nating malaman yung V sub S. So, kung titignan natin, since parallel yung mga yon, according to our rule, kapag parallel lang circuit natin, ganito siya, okay, may mga branch resistor tayo, yung voltage drop dito, same lang din dito. So, yung voltage dito sa ating uh, branch ng 10 mA, same lang din dito, at saka dito. So, kung makukuha natin yung voltage uh, sa ating 4 kilo ohm resistor, siya rin yung equivalent sa 10 mA. Actually, kung titignan natin yung original figure, dito kasi, kung meron na tayong value ni V sub 2, equal din siya dito sa voltage drop ni 5 kilo ohms. Equal din siya dito sa voltage drop or voltage uh, equivalent ng ating 10 mA source. But, yung V sub 1 dito, hindi siya equal dun sa tatlong nabanggit ko. Kasi yung V sub 1 dito, meron kasing cashier. Yung source kasi dito, madidistribute siya kay 1 kilo ohms at saka 3 kilo ohms. Meron kasi siyang kasiris. Pero ito kasi, tigi isang resistor. So, pare-parehas yan. So, itong 20 kilo ohm voltage drop, which is 20 volts, parehas din siya kay 5 kilo ohm kapag kinuha natin using ohms to. Parehas lang din yung drop niya. And parehas din sa drop ng V-source natin. Pero kung gusto mong i-verify kung pare-parehas yan, pwede naman natin i-solve. So, yung VS kasi natin is, let's say ito. Okay, IR. So, I, ang current natin is, um, current na dadaan, which is ano ba yung current na IB, IB natin? Ang current IB natin is equal to IA which is 5 times 10 raised to negative 3 multiplied by, ito kasi yung kinukuha natin ano, uh, VS. Let's say it, this is VS. Okay, pangalanan natin. Let's say positive negative VS. Ayan, pangalanan natin. Okay, so 5 times yung 4 times 10 raised to 3 yung resistance natin. So that is also equivalent to 20 
foods. Okay. Kung kukunin mo doon, siya rin. Kung kukunin mo to, siya rin. So, pares lang siya. Okay. Ito kasi, kapag dito mo kinuha, kailangan mo hanapin yung isang current na dadaan dito. So, okay na tong 20 volts natin. Okay. So, P sub S is equal to 20 volts times I sub S. Ano ba yung source current natin? 10. So, negative 3. Okay. Negative 3 yun. P sub S is equivalent to um, 0 0.2 watts. Or that is 20, 200 watts. Okay. So, yan yung mga... Uh, answer natin sa ating problem. Okay, highlight na lang natin sila. Okay, so ang required, yung V1, V2, that are be power dissipated. So, itong 75. Okay, 0.75. At saka ito. Oops. At saka ito. Ayan, so yan yung mga sagot natin.